Pastor, in -house much pastor. love, in-house pastor, <laughs> reverend counselor. Not even just reverend, but reverend counselor. Um, Cyril Lutorot is here. And we also have with us a lady from the Planned Parenthood Association of Ghana, um, Abigail ogunro York. Abigail, yeah. first of all, um, in your line of work, Planned Parenthood Association of, of Ghana, are women and females, men, are, are there still virgins <laughs> in Ghana, um, according to what you know? That's an interesting one. Thank you. Um, for me, I think we still have, because um, since uh, 2000, we started a program with the young people, and we were taking them through the life planning skills, which helped them to plan their lives in such a way that um, if you have the information, you are able to take the decision as to do I break it or do I keep it? And we had a lot of them keeping it till most of them got married, and even we still have some. And, you know, we can't be going around asking them, are you still a virgin? Are you still a virgin? <laughs> but, you know, from the person's um, attitudes, behaviors, you will know that this person is still keeping it. Are you sure? Yes. Nanaba. I'm very sure. She's saying that by people's way of behavior, you can tell someone's still a virgin. Like maybe an 18 year old. Oh, I'm a good guy. Well, <laughs> she, 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 she's an expert. Um, PPAG has done mm -hmm. a lot of you know, sexual um, um, reproduction talk, they have been embarking on the education, abstain or use, um, you know, the available uh, family planning uh, capsules or whatever it is on the market. So she's the expert here. But I can't look at Amake yeah. and say uh, she's a virgin. <laughs> Oh. And we're not going to look oh. at McKay and say she's a virgin. So, Reverend <laughs> <laughs> House is so Why do you look so shocked? Hey. You say you can't look at her and say she's a virgin. Yeah. So, you are just telling her she's not. Yeah, but how would she know if I am or not? No, you say she can't look at you and say you are a virgin, but you are not. I mean, that's what I understand. <laughs> Are you a virgin? For the sake, me. He's married. I can't be. Oh, I'm glad. <laughs> he's, a, he's married. I can never be. He's, he's the last man I, I will never, to be. Never. Why okay. should I be? All right. Hey, people. <laughs> <laughs> All right. These excitement yeah. you want to He's yeah. the fruit of life. So you're very, very good. And you're married, so which is the good thing? But in terms of um, looking at the comments we're getting on Facebook, yeah. a lot of people seem to be thinking that virginity is something that only females should be keeping and not necessarily men. So... From your standpoint as a counselor, we'll share some light for us. Thank you so much. Good morning. Good morning. New day. We are here again. No bombs, no fires. I'm going to be very cool today. Yes. See oh, how I'm free. free. No, I'm free, free but yeah, see my cool. coolness. Okay. This is cool one. <laughs> People, we have different types of virginity now. Yes. And this is where it is. We have people who are primary virgins. <laughs> the <laughs> hermen, the hermen has not been touched. And when we say virginity, it is the breaking of the hermen. The hermen is the thin membrane yes. or the thin tissue that covers um, the parts of the, the entrance of the vagina. I mean, that's a word. Professionally, I can't, I don't know what word to use, but yes. the, whatever your mother call it, uh, what is it, the whole kukui, whatever they call it, what I mean is the place. Mm -hmm. yeah. Somebody says it's called the place, kukui, momoi, something, they have a name for it, but I mean the vagina. Yeah. Some small thing covering it. Yeah. When it gets torn, it means you're blocking your virginity. Yeah. Now, we have primary virgins. We have secondary virgins. Now we have remedial virgins, tertiary virgins. Wow. Then we also have people doing their masters and planning to do their PhD with their virginity. Let me break it down to your understanding. <laughs> okay. The primary virgins are those who have never had anything to do. They, there's a dangerous one, which is I didn't mention the last one. It's called masturbating virgins. Oh, wow. They are okay. also in the system. They are, they are the dangerous one that I get angry with them. I don't want to see them. I get very offended. <laughs> very, very offended. The masturbating virgins, they are dangerous people to live with. And most parents today are breeding and brooding and raising uh, poultry farms and zoos in their home. Whoa, full yes. of masturbating virgins because in their they're, not, they're not going to know if their child or young teenager is masturbating she's, in the she's, room she's or, not or breaking her virginity yeah. okay. but she's using all the oh, sex yeah. toys yeah. So the dildos you, yeah. the, look people so get married mm, yeah. you have the, you, they have the time yeah. <laughs> people get married and let me start from the masturbating virgins okay. because that is where I go and then I get very offended somebody gets married to a young lady who was at 29 years and she was a virgin she married this young lady to the house and from she's she's never enjoyed sexual intercourse yes. 
The reason was because after the investigation, she was using vibrator. You know how the vibrator works? She has three gears. G, 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 and the third one, G, 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 G. No man can be G, 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 G. Well, it gives a different excitement than the original. Thank you. She's telling us excitement than the original. Then I'll be the last one. Somebody told her. I've been told. She was told. A friend told me. Then I'm a you were told. Yes, I was. But you were explaining it like you felt it. You were told. Yes, she was told. She was told. Now you get used. You get used to this thing. So it becomes a sexual inhibition yeah. when you get the right man. So because of that, you can't enjoy the art okay. now. Yeah. This lady sleeps with her husband, and for six months of the marriage, any time they finish the first sexual act, she has to go Ooh, to the bathroom. Yeah. As soon as she's going yeah. to wash, she has to put on this machine mm-hmm. and do the jiggy 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 and comes back. But pastor, how about if if that is the problem of the young lady, yeah. the man can also decide to help. You know, when they're having included it, making yes. love. That is where I'm coming to. My dear, the question is that the, the question is that I married you as a virgin, yes. and as a virgin, the place has never experienced anything. anything. So you're, you're masturbating using other things, and what I enjoy, I'm not a virgin. I can't be, all right? Maybe I'll become um, uh, a, PhD a PhD when I explain. You understand the PhD virginity? <laughs> you see, I, I I believe that you've not done it before, so I'm treating you like somebody who Delicate. doesn't know anything. Delicate. Then at the end of the day, because you've masturbated and used all the sex toys in the world, you don't enjoy what I'm doing. People live in the states and they think their so wives are here. Yes. Their wives are here because yeah. they want to prevent them from going. A young man bought it for the wife here. The day he came back, now the wife says, "Who and saying there?" Want to say first now, call and cry. I then then I ba. Want yet to say send out here first, no. When we investigated, the reason was because the toy she was using has replaced the original yes. thing. So okay. the masturbating virgins it causes challenge. So that I just want to before we carry, I just want to sort of let everybody know there is a parental guidance of what we're discussing. It is adult content. We're going to do it with the right people. But there is if there's kids in the room. There is a parental guidance, so please carry Thank on. You. So that is the people I call the dangerous people who you believe they don't know anything about the thing. So you take them home, and then they have what we call sexual inhibitions because your your manhood can never behave like a vibrator. If you are a man there and you can behave like a vibrator, I would like to have you in my office. Yes. Let's see what okay. mechanism and chemical they are using around your waist area you that you can work like a vibrator because okay. you can be. And if you are a woman there, then you are practicing masturbating and you are telling people i'm still a virgin i've not penetrated before for me whatever you enjoy at the end you're of the still resolution, being sexual yes. you are, it's about sexuality. It. Yeah, because you enjoy yeah. the resolution is for you to have a discharge people yes. don't even have orgasm most women yeah. in ghana in the world yeah. don't have orgasm that is why december 26 i'm going to teach because the men probably don't know how to end. Get okay. to that stage with a woman. Yes. yes, so the skill is from the man. But yeah. You'll be going in a class on getting yes. a woman. Yes, but women. the enjoyment of sexual intercourse, men, they are zero. Yes. It is for women's business. Mm-hmm. And the day we treat it here, you understand why. Mm-hmm. Because men are gas stove, women yes. are electric stove. Exactly. But Pastor, would them. you say that virginity is relevant? It, that's what I'm coming to. So this is the relevant, people think it's relevant, but they are keeping it in the wrong, in way. The wrong way. Now, the second people are those who broke it. The, from some time and decided yeah. that uh, this thing I went through, I feel bad about it. Oh God of heaven, forgive me, and uh, I, I will not do it again. again. So it becomes a secondary <laughs> person, and then there. Then we have the remedial people who, after breaking secondary, said, "Oh, I said this to Andrew it again, but the way this guy is doing to me, I mean, then they go and do fire one. That's remedial. Yeah, that's remedial. Okay. They are doing the remedial, and the remedial can be done every three days, every one week." But if you mm-hmm. understand, it's not me. The way the thing is now. So, so these are the category of... And people who are doing the PhD and the master's are people who are finding themselves in monoposal syndromes. And for that matter, their reason is that they don't feel comfortable sexually. Some are not producing histogen to be able to lubricate for sexual penetration. For that matter, they are resolved that I won't do it again. But once in a while, they feel they want to do it. They are the master's people. And those with the PhD are those who are old and mm-hmm. think that sexual intercourse is not you know, part of it. All this virginity I'm talking about, okay. one of the challenges that if you want to keep your virginity, my sister, keep it well. My brother, keep it well. Know how to keep it. See the professionals to tell you how your thoughts and your feelings should act towards you keeping the virginity. But don't just resolve and say, I want to keep it. The reason why you should keep your virginity must be known by you. Why do I want okay. to keep my virginity? Okay. That's the first question you asked yourself. Abigail, yes. I want to come to you as well. Just to give us, the legal age of consent in Ghana is 16, am I correct? Yes. 
a 16. And what advice when do do you give if people come to you before they have sex? Just just so because people are doing it. But what advice do you generally give in your organization? Yeah, thank you. Um, I. I said earlier on that we have been taking people through this uh, life planning skills and then decision making and rightly as Pastor said, it is a will and you decide I want to keep it because of one, two and three, I want to keep it. I am breaking it because I feel I don't have any use for it. I don't have anything doing, I mean, it's like you are lost and that you just want to break it and then feel free and do whatever. And, 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 and it's like people also follow people mm. because everybody Peer is pressure. doing it. Peer pressure. Peer pressure. Everybody is doing it. Everybody is in it. And, and they look at you with some kind of eyes. Hey, so she's a virgin. So she's a virgin. So what is and it? It's a, lack, it's a lack of opportunity. Opportunity. And a virgin. to you, you are keeping yes. it for a reason. At times it's true. Yeah. It's a lack of opportunity. You don't have somebody to break it, so... Okay, let, let, let me, let me <laughs> wade in this argument that, you know, I don't have a problem with anybody being a virgin. I think, well, virginity is divinity. I, I, I think so. Yeah. But then again, a lot of marriages are breaking down these days because the women go into the homes as virgins. The man has had a wealth of experience yes. with other women. Yeah. And so he comes close with this woman he's been dreaming of having all, you know, his life. Yeah. They're married. Now they're in bed. And the woman, they will say, well, this is according to a friend. Life now like a Hello. Hello. You have no so friend. Yes. 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 I'm watching you. Let's be friends. And, and, mm -hmm. and the marriage will break down because the man is used to other things. Other women who That's are right. very skillful yeah. in bed. Right. Yes. And this woman skillful. is not skillful. She likes the experience. What would you say about men who will say, practice makes perfect. So because of that, I'd rather have... A non-virgin, maybe see, a tertiary one. Nah, <laughs> a remedial virgin. Remedial. Now, I had this client in my office who was about to marry, and then one of the things we do professionally is to go through sex therapy. As a sex yes. therapist, yeah. it's part of the package of your marriage. It's, it's, I, it's not done much in our churches, yeah. but professionally I do it. And the question popped up, and I asked the young man, are you, uh, are you a virgin? He said, oh, no, sir. No. How no, many so people so. have you had sexual intercourse? Oh, five. Oh, okay. Then I asked the young lady, Madam, your man says five. You two, are you a virgin? Says she didn't talk, she just nodded her head. So, okay, you two, how many so far have you done? Close to 15 minutes, she was not talking. Say, Madam, can you talk and let's go? Say, if I finish counting by this time, I could have given you an answer. He can count. I, I can count. count. I can count. Then the young man said, Wow, this is what I've been praying for. Yes. Uncountable sexual intercourse person. Counselor, this is what I want as a wife. You see the mentality? Because he yes. wants his wife to be experienced. He thinks that sexual intercourse is an experience. Okay. Let me tell you there. The way you break your virginity, the first day, the way you break your virginity till you die will determine the way you act in bed. Yeah. Okay. So, as Nanama is saying, people are not enjoying people. That if a man too didn't have the proper way of breaking the virginity, yeah. And miss a woman who didn't have a proper way of breaking the virginity, then there's trouble. And so the proper ways I'm talking about is a young girl is coming up, her first experience with sexual intercourse, she comes up with pregnancy. You see, that's the thing. She doesn't know the trick. Yeah, she doesn't know the trick. Yes. 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 I'm copying for everyone. You've got to know the trick. According to the number, you have to know the trick. So the young lady doesn't have the trick. And today we'll teach you the tricks here. The tricks are there. The number says the young lady doesn't have a trick. Then she goes her first experience to sexual intercourse. She comes home with pregnancy. Yes. And at the end of the day, she associates sexual intercourse to childbirth, yeah. pain, yeah. ridicule, shame. Yeah. So anytime she seeks sexual intercourse, that thing comes up. Somebody is defiled. She says 16. And this is what I have against Ghana. Yeah. Did you hear me? People, uh, the law in Ghana says 16. But when a 10-year-old girl goes to the hospital to deliver, it's yeah. a news item. Yeah. You are happy about that one. You make news about nine years, deliver triplets, ten years, and you but you say the law is sixteen. You should choke that thing. It's a shame. We should stop. When somebody goes and ten years she delivers, we should attack it and say it's a wrong thing. We shouldn't have we people, should jail the men. We should jail the men. Look for the men. Castration. Castration. Oh, that's harsh.
Yes. Ama is is a if, method if, if, of no, treating if you're, if you're sex with prostate kids, cancer. It's, it's but pedophilia. at this age, if you want to castrate people, please well, be careful. Well, you can do the chemical ones. You just Which one is chemical? Hey, you yeah, two. Yeah, have you experienced that too? Yeah. Have you experienced that too? A man want to die with this thing. <laughs> people have prostate cancer. They want to do it for them to They say no. Yeah. I even yeah. have to go yeah. to my yeah. grave potent you know, in case, <laughs> in case I meet any lady. You know, but 